Well, last night I was having dinner with two members of my staff, um, and we were working, preparing for committee hearings today. Um, and then we were approached, some, a woman came over to my table, uh, came and stood very close to me. Patriotas, en esta primera noticia te contamos la última muestra de intolerancia. Pues resulta que la congresista Marjorie Taylor Greene dice que fue atacada en un restaurante anoche debido a sus opiniones políticas. Esto ocurre solo una semana después de que publicó un tuit sobre la cita de Estados Unidos, sobre el divorcio nacional y por cierto, los medios nunca fueron a ella y le preguntaron específicamente qué quería decir. Ella dijo, detallamos un plan para descentralizar el gobierno federal y, como era de esperarse la mano oscura mediática, no perdió tiempo en atacarme con falsas acusaciones de que estaba hablando de secesión. Pero ahora mis amigos, la congresista Marjorie Taylor Greene se une a nosotros. Bienvenida a este tu canal de noticias del momento, escuchémosla. You know, back when Hillary Clinton declared that we're all deplorables, they basically tried to claim that we're second-class citizens simply because we're conservative. And then Maxine Waters, with her, wherever you see them, you make a crowd, you surround them, and you attack them. This was the dog whistle for all of the people on the left, Democrat voters everywhere, and fully supported by the Democrat Party to attack Republicans in public no matter what. There is no line they will not cross. And it is disrespectful, they are insane, they are crazy, and it needs to stop right now. Quisimos dejar esta otra parte de la entrevista Patriotas, para que sean ustedes mismos quien saquen una idea de cómo están las cosas y de paso, me regalen sus comentarios. Muchas gracias, sigamos. That's right, Sean, and first of all, I want to thank you very much. You are one of the only ones that actually was willing to ask me what I'm talking about. Everyone else just talked about me and assumed what I was saying and accused me of, of trying to start civil war, accusing me of secession and all kinds of things. What I'm talking about is reducing the size of our federal government and giving more power and control to our states to be the identity that they want to be, whether it's blue or red. Because the division in our country has gotten to a dangerous point, to the point where I experience it on a daily basis. Um, being attacked in public is no fun, but we also have to remember it's not just elected members of Congress or, or famous, um, you know, Republican spokesmen or political commentators like you and others, but it's also regular people, maybe people that wear a MAGA hat that have been attacked for years now. And we are fed up. We're fed up with Democrat policies. We're fed up with the woke ideology being shoved down our throat. And we're tired of our children being brainwashed into these same ideas. Um, we want our own safe space, and we deserve it. And the federal government is so out of control. The debt is insane. We need to take power away from the federal government and rein that entity back in and, and truly let the states have the power and so control really... that they deserve. Y tú dime, ¿qué opinas? Tengan todos un bendecido día.